up? It's 6 and it is December 8th, 2015, which means it's day 8 of Vlogmas. It's another Tuesday. This is our second Tuesday in Vlogmas. So we have sort of the same schedule, I think. Um, but we might do some different things in between. But obviously you guys will find out with me. So I will be sure to check back in with you guys once I have my outfit put together. Now I'm ready to go. Um, so I'm just wearing this crop top hoodie because it's about like high 70s today. And this is from Brandy Melville. And then these boyfriend jeans are from Garage. And then once again, I'm wearing my Timberlands. What's up guys? So I'm sure you guys remember this building. It's my coaching building that I go to every Tuesday morning. So it's not as cold this morning as it usually is. I don't really, like, really showed you the inside of the building. It's like a, like a really like, you know, a typical office building. Not really that interesting. I will see you guys after my coaching. Okay, we just ate a Medici's. Oh, I love Medici's. If I could pick any place to like eat at for the rest of my life, it's Medici's. It has salads, pizzas. It's called Medi Medici. Neapolitan pizza and it's like you know pit it's like pit fire pizza that you know what I mean it's so good so now we're gonna go home and then I have a soccer uniform fitting so I did just get back from soccer practice I played goalie at one point today and I saved a really good ball my finger is bruising like insanely and I don't know what happened to it um I saved it and I didn't like bend my finger backwards or anything like that. Like I actually used really good goalie technique, but I wasn't wearing gloves because we were playing knockout or no top gun. So you weren't playing goalie the full time. So there's no reason to put gloves on, but obviously you see the difference. Okay. Actually, let me like show you a clear difference of my fingers right now. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Wear gloves. Don't ever play goalie with dark gloves unless you have really strong hands. In which case, I do not. Um, the second thing, we, uh, today, this upcoming Thursday and last Thursday, we, um, are playing boys and we played the boys team today and their U14, like the girls team I'm playing for, which is U14. Last Thursday, we tied the boys team and then like was zero zero and then we did a shootout and we won so there's one and then today we played the boys and we lost by one it was like five six girls are so equal to boys soccer so i don't any of you girl soccer players out there or aspiring girl soccer players don't ever let guys or even girls who say boys are better because there's a lot of girls who be like no of course boys are better just always stay confident with yourself and know that you are amazing and the only person i put this on my instagram today the only person you should try to be better than is the person that you were yesterday so that's my another motivation out to soccer practice and I just got my uniform today. I played soccer for about 10 to 11 years now. Um, and I've always been six or 66. Six is a very common number. So then I went to 66 and that was my thing. So when I moved teams, I came to this one today. I had my fitting for the uh, uniform. And I was like, yep, yeah, I wanna go 66. And the guy goes, uh, in this league, you can only go to 23. I was like, what? <laughs> When is that a thing? Like 20, what? there's so many numbers that girls go for that are over 23. And I was like, are you sure? Like, so we made a couple phone calls. It's true. You can only go to 23. And of course, already on the team, which obviously I'm not going to blame that person because six is an amazing number, but um, had number six. I can't do anything about this. So I have to do something relevant to six. So, I am now officially number 12. Hello, six plus six equals 12. I'm not a math genius, that's just, you know. Feeling like number 12 might be my new 
lucky number. Maybe, maybe this is the number that's gonna take me to the next level. You know what I mean? Uh, I got a new bag. So it has the Sherman Oaks Extreme. That's the new team I play for. And then you have orange number 12. Ah, it's so crazy, but it's exciting. So I got that new bag. These shorts are new. They're Nike. This is my practice shirt, Sherman Oaks Extreme SC. And then it has our little logo. But so those are the fronts of the jerseys. And then, be a moment behold, number 12. I know, it's pretty crazy, but it's exciting. Hey guys, so I am ready to go to bed. I'm so tired, it is currently 10.05. Um, I took a shower, I feel fresh and clean, and I brushed my teeth, and I washed my face, and I'm in my PJs, and I still haven't picked up my jerseys. Fun. Tomorrow, I have base again. I do have a surprise for you guys next week. And this weekend, gosh, it's, I'm just making it Christmas for you guys already. But let's just say vlogs are about to get exciting. But tomorrow, uh, I'm going to my agent Susan Duff's house and we're having a holiday party. And I'm going to go over to cook with her and bake with her before it. Because one of, besides my grandma, Gammy, if you're watching this, you're number one when it comes to cooking and baking. But my second favorite is with my agent Susan Duff. She has some of the most amazing recipes I have ever tasted. Oh, my mouth is just watering. I cannot wait to eat tomorrow. But I also love cooking and baking with her. She has taught me so much, so I'm very excited. Fingers crossed that it all turns out good. <laughs> but I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Have a great night or day, depending on when you're watching this, and I love you.